Hey, you're watching Three Minute Matters. My name is Lucretia Renee Church. Here I discuss topics from a biblical perspective within three minutes. I came with a prophetic word just for you. You're eating it. Let's go. Proverbs 18.21 in the King James says this, A man's belly is satisfied with the fruit of his mouth, and with the increase of his lips shall he be filled. Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. The Message Bible reads it like this, Words satisfy the mind as much as fruit does the stomach. Good talk is gratifying as a good harvest. Words kill, words give life. They're either poison or fruit. You choose. Have you ever thought of it this way, that the things that you're experiencing in your life could be the result of the words that you've spoken? Look at it like this. Words are seeds and the atmosphere is the ground. When you speak your words, they get planted in the spiritual realm and the process of germination begins. Most of us have taken that scripture to mean that we should be careful not to speak death over others. And we should, we should be very careful not to do this. But the scripture is actually talking about us being aware of the creative ability that our words have that affect our own lives. The scripture says that they that love it shall eat the fruit. Not that they that love it as far as talking and speaking about others, that the other person shall eat the fruit. No, it says that you love it and you'll eat it. Your mouth, my mouth, it's a door. And when we open it, we should be speaking out what we want to return to us. This reminds me of how the Lord says that what ever goes out of his mouth goes and accomplishes what he has spoken and then it returns back to him and this is the same way that we should be thinking i believe that if we truly understand the same thing about the things that we speak we won't be so loose with our words i mean we won't engage in corrupt communication or foolish jesting when we speak we'll speak with purpose knowing that our words are going out and it's producing fruit it's producing either corruption or it's producing life it's going to bring something back to us and so we have to determine what it is that we want back. The word of God is spirit and it's life and anything contrary to it is death. When you speak, when spoken to by the Holy Spirit, when God's speaking to you, you're less likely to error. I'm not saying that you not to have a personality or to have fun and, and just sit around like a vegetable. I'm not saying that. You just have to remember that your words are working for you after you've spoken them. So the next time someone asks you the question like, you know, is, is, is scripture all you talk about? Is God all you talk about? Don't you have any other conversation? I want you to pause before you answer and remember, you're eating it. Have a good and fruitful day. This is Three Minute Matters. I'm Lucretia Renee Church. See you next time.